As Beijing seeks to establish friendly relations with the Taliban in Afghanistan, its relationship with Pakistan is rapidly deteriorating. Pakistani public opinion of China has turned sour in recent months. There were two instances of suicide bombing in July and August that targeted Chinese nationals. This has raised doubts about the viability of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, or CPEC, in which the CCP has invested $62 billion. CPEC is an important Belt and Road infrastructure project touted by Xi Jinping. On August 20th, a suicide bomber targeted a vehicle carrying Chinese nationals in southwest Pakistan. The attack left two children dead and three injured. On July 14th, a suicide bomber targeted a bus carrying Chinese workers to the Daosu Hydropower, resulting in 13 casualties, nine of them being Chinese workers. On August 24th, Chinese affairs expert Gordon Chang published an op-ed in Newsweek. In the article, he noted that China was losing Pakistan on top of calling India and the U.S. its enemies. Chang said the two suicide bombing incidents have especially alarmed Beijing. According to Andrew Small of the German Marshall Fund, a think tank, China is increasingly concerned over the development in Pakistan in recent months. He said they're concerned that effectively Afghanistan could be used as a strategic depth for the Pakistan Taliban, and that would have implications for their investments and security interests in the country. Kamran Bukhari of the New Lines Institute for Strategy and Policy noted that the fall of the Afghan government has energized the Pakistan Taliban, who will want to take advantage of what they see as a historic opportunity to replicate in Pakistan the Emiratic regime. Attacking Chinese interests in Pakistan to get Beijing to abandon CPEC projects is an important part of its strategy. China's departure will weaken Islamabad and that will help the Pakistan Taliban either topple the current government or grab control of territory along the Afghan border.